Welcome back to Mike's Man Cave and welcome back to another unboxing and review video or maybe in this case an unbagging. Ah uh, well, let's have a look. With winter approaching and it getting colder in Australia, I ordered myself a new winter jacket. Now it doesn't get that cold where I live, so you don't want a real thick heavy jacket. You want something reasonably light. And I did want something a little bit stylish, I suppose. And being stylish, I guess, is a matter of personal opinion. What I think is stylish might not be your style. Now, this leather jacket I ordered online from David Outwear. Now, I've seen these ads pop up on social media sites, Facebook and the like. And as you can see here, I'm putting some screenshots up of the jacket and the advertisement that I saw that made me buy it. This jacket cost me $131.09 Australian dollars. Plus, I think it might have been $10 or $15 postage. I'm not sure. I honestly can't remember. The only thing that's annoyed me a bit, and I did mention that in my other video where I've reviewed the David Outwear men's wallet, is that the advertising makes you think that this stuff comes from America but really it did come from China. When the packet arrived at my house, it was clearly posted from China, which I wasn't 100% happy about, but let's have a look. This is how it's turned up. And like I said, this is a lightweight jacket, so let's just get it out the bag and we will have a look at it and see what my first impressions are. There's the bag. Out it goes. And here's the jacket. Now the leather feels really, really soft. It is really nice. And it does smell like leather. I'm not sure if they can make fake leather smell like real leather these days. But it definitely does smell like real leather. It is fairly thin though. It's not very heavy duty and in saying that that's what i wanted i've already got a very very heavy leather jacket that cost me i think it was about 700 dollars back in the day and i've had it for about 15 years and it's still going strong it's actually a jacket i used to wear when i used to ride motorbikes but that jacket i very rarely wear these days because it is too big too heavy too thick and too hot Here's the David Outwear logo, and it says on the back here, davidoutwear.com. If anyone's interested, you can probably order one of these yourself online. And there's the logo on the back of the jacket. It's got a very, very heavy duty zipper on it, which runs really, really nice. It does have a pocket on the front of the jacket there which might be perfect for a wallet or mobile phone or something along those lines. Now on the other side here it does have a fake pocket and which is just a little zip pocket there. Now I'm hoping, I've ordered this online so I'm hoping it will fit. I am going to be wearing this jacket tomorrow Oh uh, well, there's a good start. It is the right length in the arms. Okay, usually when the jacket fits in the arms, it's usually pretty good. The next problem is the shoulders. Okay, that's not too bad. Seems to be the right length. It's got adjustable cuffs there. And they clip in nicely, as you can see there. Okay. Zipper runs nice. And it seems to fit. Seems to be alright around the shoulders and arms. It does seem a little bit tight around the midsection, but it still does fit. Um, now, this midsection tightness might be due to all the milk drink reviews and energy drink reviews I've been doing. So I might just have to cut back on those from now on. So this jacket fits a little bit better. So if you enjoyed this quick 
unboxing video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more videos from Mike's Man Cave. Thanks for watching and bye for now.